Hello, this is Molly Reamer with 30 Days of Goddess in Bridges Grove with this week's mini ritual for the Creative Spirit Circle. We are continuing to explore Earth Runes, the progressive deck I'm creating this year for our Goddess Magic community patrons, and then also an assist from the Everyday Witch Oracle by Deborah Blake a story goddess oracle card honoring our goddess of the month ariadne and some assists from 30 days of goddess as well a reminder you can always go to 30daysofgoddess.com for themed monthly printables so we are already all the way up to the 29th earth rune and this one is the mandala the rune of patterns this is a rune of wholeness of organization of protection of emergence of noticing discovering designing creating action and exploration so where are you noticing patterns in your life lately and are those patterns supporting or sabotaging you sometimes and i become aware of this i feel like it's really potent in the summer to become aware of old patterns and how they influence you and how you might wish to change the pattern remembering as i've said in past rituals that you're your own crucible of creation and you can change the pattern if you need to so if your pattern is not serving you well it might be time to change i find that summer is a threshold time as I have also said and we find that we are approaching the crossroads of choice and change where we decide how are we moving forward what are we still doing what are we letting go of what is flourishing what is withering what is thriving what do I want to release so a rune of patterns and a reminder that you can change the pattern if you need to But also, what are you discovering? What are you designing? What are you creating? Are you taking action on bringing the things you wish to create forward into the world? So are you taking action on your dreams? Are you organizing your choices in a way that supports your own wholeness? And then let's go ahead and pop on over to our everyday witch oracle card and we received earth magic i really love the illustrations on these this deck with its so many details and little bits and pieces of things her earth magic here and her little cat down there and there's just a lot of they're very rich cards with a lot of detail and things to look at so i really enjoy that so this is the earth magic card how are you rooting into the cycles and patterns and seasons of your own landscape where you are right now what resources can you draw up from the earth to support you in your practices and this card helps us to remember that we're always supported we're always surrounded by these this magic of the earth so the uh, book go goes ahead and says that the earth supports our feet when we walk it provides the base for the homes we live in live in and springs all life from its fertile soils we only have one planet and doing some earth magic whether it involves crystals herbs or even salt can help remind us of how important the earth is to our magic and our lives so a suggested practice or action is to take a walk and pay attention to all the growing things around you i love this time of year because i really tune in to everything that flourishes without tending without being especially in you know roadsides and electric pole cleared areas and vacant lots and you can see all the things that flourish without tending without needing to be taken care of they just need to be left alone so right now i'm noticing all the chicory that's sprung up all over we've picked some wild plums by the side of the road we've been noticing the wild cherries that have gotten knocked down by raccoons or other creatures trying to eat them and so there's just so much abundance and so much that flourishes without us needing to do it without us needing to take control over it that's just the earth magic right there so take a walk and pay attention to all the growing things around you or perhaps plant some seeds in a garden or container inside there is a magic in starting new life in the soil and watching it grow and blossom you might even do some Something more practical like planting a tree cleaning up litter or creating oh look there goes a daddy long leg i guess some people call those harvest men i did not know that until i taught a science class for my kids and i was like what's a harvest man and i guess i call them daddy long legs but <laughs> so it went by there with our little earth message they're kind of creepy if i I understand, but they're still a little creature of the earth. Uh, Creating a welcoming space in your yard for birds or creatures. As you do any of these things, be mindful of your connection to the element of earth and fill your heart with gratitude for her gifts. So this card reminds us to take action 
with, uh, with the magic that surrounds us. Be aware of the magic beneath our feet, but also use the elements of the earth to make some magic. Magic feeds the soul, just like the earth nourishes our bodies. Another practice idea is to take a walk and pick up of the first rock that catches your eye and see if you, you don't have to keep it, you can just pick it up and see if you can perceive any shapes or symbols in it. And see, so today, for example, I just found one that had a smooth round depression in it, like a uh, metate, like a corn grinding stone. And so I found that rock when I was walking, it caught my eye because it looked like somebody was getting ready to use it as a mortar and pestle, only it was about this big. And so take a walk and see what symbol you might find in a bit of earth in the form of a stone. Okay, so we're moving on now to our Ariadne card. This is the deck that I made, the complete deck of story or goddess oracle cards that I made. And so this is the Ariadne card in that complete deck. I made each one of the cards, all 52 of them, into a little ritual packet like this. And so our affirmation is, I extend to touch the infinite. This is one of the gifts and powers of daily, and joys of daily practice to me, is that every day when I sit down on my little swing and with my prayer book, I feel like I extend to touch the infinite. And pause is a perfect companion word to that affirmation because you could just say, pause, extend, and touch the infinite. That could be your affirmation. Pause, extend to touch the infinite. Or as I pause, I find I extend to touch the infinite. And then there's a little prayer in the pocket, which is really beautifully connected to earth magic and to the mandala as a rune of wholeness, organization, and patterns. I relate to where I am as sacred, my body a source of wisdom, the landscape a source of power, my life a source of understanding, my heart a source of guidance. So may you pause, extend to touch the infinite, and relate to where you are as sacred. And then a brief little prayer. Since we've already read this one before, I have this little set, this Council of Goddesses set that I gave to my Goddess Magic patrons. May I be as powerful as Ariadne, casting aside trappings of performance and pleasing, stripping away artifice to get out what lies beneath, setting forth and finding my own way, courage and discovery embedded in my stride. And then another reminder, this one from July's Snapshot Cards, you are not here for forcing, for playing a part or to relinquish joy. You are not here to be used up or extinguished, consumed or commodified. You are here for surprise, for delight, for curiosity, for flowers, for the way that tiny spider dances across a thin and shining web supported by a thousand invisible threads. So this week, may you remember that you are supported by a thousand invisible threads, that you can draw up support and sustenance from the earth magic around you that you can notice and discover and relate to where you are as sacred as well as to the patterns of your own life. And then a very short closing from right here. This is the, I the, I use this kind of silly card as the cover for my mini prayer book. This is part of the Goddess Magic community on Patreon as well, patreon.com slash goddess magic. And so here's one of the prayers that was inside in our prayer book for Ariadne. When we feel lost in the whirling, let us pause. Let us remember. Let us offer that one word right of reclamation and re renewal. Return. We are here to know our power, to claim our voice, and to live our magic. Let us be mindful each day that we hold the power to bring our choices into alignment with our delights and with our dreams. Thank you so much for being here. Keep living your magic. Bye-bye.